We have begun the process of reform and restructuring global society. I think a new world order is emerging. New, new, new world order. New, new, new world order. Genocide. New, new, new world order. New, new, new world order. Let him know. Yeah, where do I start? The genocide may be bitter. Hitler killing millions, they breathe gas for the last breath. You must be kidding yourself if you think that the media could ever play me. I ain't falling for it, so much knowledge out there. How could you ignore it? Take it in and move forward. They want a one world government, they want war. World War Three, China on the front door. In the center of a worldwide agenda. God mode music, I swear I won't surrender. Except to my maker, through my body he can enter, replenish me. Expel demons like placenta Genetically connected Evil is reflected Need a black president Obama was elected They wanna kill a billion people I disrespect it Fuck the White House To the Wall Street ejected A new world order 2009 The Wellington State The new world order We need to escape Reptilian agendas Form and take shape People need to wake up Before it's too late Deny what you like And call it all fibs Wait till they start Microchipping your kids Civilian IDs, DNA, fingerprints, all bow to the one eye pyramids. Raise your eyelids and focus your iris. African vaccines with the AIDS virus. Force flag ops like 9 11 pilots. The world is run by the wealthiest tyrants. Illuminati, the global elite. They keep it low key like when the Bilderberg meet. Forget the TV, cause the media's oblique. A psyop technique, they tell what to speak. <laughs> is secretly trying to take over the world. One, one world currency is the, is the end game. New world order. Yeah, I can't sit back and wait while they kill it. Nah, give me a gun, I'ma fight for the children. Fight for the women like my family. Insanity spawned out of the money, they losing gravity. At the right time, the four regions will combine. Create something from the far reaches of your mind. During the crime, there'll be bloodshed. 13 bloodline families out to rule the world, enough said, fuck the build a burp. They nothing but pollution inside of the White House, burning the Constitution. They the enemy, the opposite of Kennedy, no prophecy of prosperity, without a remedy, my energy. Bringing them zombies out the cemetery, wake up before we all pay the ultimate penalty. Militant minor don't join in the revolution This is for the innocent who die by execution Info war, I'm giving you the facts Back in 29 they made the market collapse Made up climate change so they want a carbon tax Pay the breed while they rearrange maps Fuck the government, they don't serve you and I Block out the sun, chem trails in the sky CIA in Afghanistan, heroin supply UN one peace and wars they walk by The Middle East was a planned invasion Applied like the JF Okay, assassination, we need to rise up and fight for liberation Cause all we are is slaves in this big corporation Cooperation, I forever resist and fuck their military I could never enlist in the new world religion I'ma be an atheist, I'ma stand up high Genocide with the waste fist Bilderberg is secretly trying to take over the world A new world order Is the, is the end game <laughs> You, you, you won't order. You, you, you won't order. You, you, you won't order. But still, women can't pull themselves away. They're like, no, I'm ugly. No, I'm not good. TV says so. Meanwhile, there's genetic engineering, toxic waste being dumped everywhere. Your children are being poisoned. The, 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 the government's gearing up tattletale squads and environmental squads and... They're going to have environmental checkpoints that's being announced, and they're going to control how much food you get and ration cards. Everything I told you years ago because it was in their own plans, now they're rolling it out. And the men are busy thumping their chest, watching football and acting tough, and, and, and men are into being stupid and into thinking it's fun. And that's all been done socially and engineered into them. Stop being in love with yourselves for five minutes, and then you'll actually save yourselves. Stop looking in the mirror for five minutes, men and women. Stop trying to act trendy wear the right clothes or have the right tattoos and, and actually be something real, real during the most critical point in human history that we're now entering.
I shalawamakiam, wa akwathiam, kawhalayam, wa hatha pa'avat, la abanawa yahawa, bahashem sha malaki hawa shai, bahashem shal hawa kakwadash, la walam yam wa adayam. All praises and the glory to our Father Yahweh in the name of King Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever and always. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, that were well. Much love to you brothers doing this work, going hard, helping sell the 144,000 out on the highways and bowers, out on the front lines of the spiritual war. Ha Bayath Shao Dawada, the house of David, and we pray to be part of that number. Much love to the helpers and friends of the prophets of the men and women that are going to be part of the 144,000 and the one third. Much love to the one-third Israelites all around the earth scattered amongst these heathen nations. And even look just like these other heathen nations where they have been scattered too. And do not have the typical Israelite appearance, but they still go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the holy, royal, chosen seed line, who the kingdom of heaven, salvation, the covenants, promises, and the blessings and everlasting life is only for. And much love to the one-third women and children that are going to receive salvation through a man of the Lord as well. And... This video is titled, These Devils Are About to Come Down With Great Wrath. Yep, and you just had that video of that probably thing that never even happened, where they claim that guy um, tried to stab um, two fake-ass Jews. And they said that the guy was claiming that he's a real Jew, even though we are the real Jews, we are the real Israelites. But Esau, he's building up a case against us. And this devil's going to make us move very soon because his lies are falling apart. And Esau, he's trying to still keep his lies upheld. Esau's trying to defend all of his lies and keep his lies up. And Esau's demonizing the truth. And since Esau can't fight up against us spiritually, and since Esau can't come at us any other type of way, he's just going to demonize us and he's going to come and persecute us and hunt us down. And Esau, he wants to get all Israel, but he for damn sure wants the men of the Lord because we're the ones actually going against him and speaking against him and exposing him. Yeah, so these devils are going to make a move very soon. Yeah, th th this shit is no joke. So uh, there's going to be a, a, a there's going to be a earthwide manhunt for the men of the Lord. Not only for the prophets in America, but Europe, South America, Central America, Asia, Africa, Australia, the various islands, no matter where the prophets are, we're all going to be hunted down. We're, we're all going to be on the run very soon, pilgrimen. Oh. Alright, so let's get right into the scriptures. We're going to go right to Revelation, the 12th chapter. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's talking about Esau Edom. That's talking about Esau Edom. These red pale devils. Yep. They do the work of Satan here on earth. And very soon they're going to declare martial law. And some of us men of the Lord are actually going to be martyrs. There's some serious business that we're in. We are, we are number one on their hit list. We're destroying all their lives, and, and they're pissed about it. They are mad that we have the truth. They are mad that what they try to beat out of us for 500 years and keep away from us, they're mad that we got it back. So Esau, he's furious right now. Esau's pissed. And these devils are going to flip the fuck out like we've never seen before. What comes now is going to be worse than what we went through in slavery. And you have a lot of these fake-ass camps that say, they say that Jacob's trouble was slavery. No, the fuck it wasn't. What's coming now is going to be worse than slavery. What's coming now is going to make the trans Atlanta slave trade feel like a spa treatment. People say Jacob's trouble already happened. No, the fuck it didn't. Jacob's trouble is about to happen. It's about to happen. It's going to be the worst time ever. It's going to be a time... So bad that there was never a time like it before it. Neither is going to be a time like it after it. That's how bad it is going to be. So that proves that we've never experienced Jacob Shubble. Because no time amounts to the time that's coming now. It's going to be the worst time ever. And now let's go to Isaiah chapter 59 and 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, so we're departing from evil. We're not with the lies and the bullshit and the folly 
and the nonsense. We're teaching the truth and we're hated because of it. And who hates us most of all because of it? These, these elites, these fake elites, because we are the real elites. That's why you even have the word elite and Israelite. You can't spell Israelite without putting that elite in it. Yeah, so these devils, they are shitting themselves. They are scared. They know they're going down. They know their time is up. They know that they're going to slavery. They know that Yahusha is coming back. And Esau, he's not going down without a fight. He's going to lose anyways, but he's still going to try because he's the devil. But this devil's going down. And Esau, he's going to use all of his big boy tours, all of his guns, all of his particle beam weapons, his lasers, his advanced technology. He's going to unleash everything. This devil, he ain't sparing nothing during Jacob's trouble. Yep, he's going to use all those badass weapons that he's preserving just for that time. Esau's going to go fucking crazy. It's going to be a crazy ass time. Yep, and that's why King David said this right here in Psalm chapter 140. Psalm chapter 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Who's the most evil man? Who's the most wicked man? Esau Edom. So King David prayed to be preserved from these devils. That's why King David said, give me any wrath but the wrath of my enemies. Yeah, it's, it's about to get crazy. And it says, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually, they are gathered together for war. Yeah, who's continually going to war? Who's continually bombing people? Who's continually declaring war on people and continually putting sanctions on people? Esau Edom. So that proves that Esau is the devil and that Esau is the pale man. We're not even going to call you white because you're not white. We're not even going to say so-called white because you're not even so-called white either. You, you, you're nothing close to white. You're red. You're pale. L like, 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 like the pigs and swines you are. Yep, it says, notice how it said they imagine mischiefs. Yeah, they always imagine mischiefs. They always try to figure out new ways to destroy us through vaccines, GMOs, spraying chemtrails, putting chemicals in the water, abortions, killing us in the street, unjust laws, martial law, roundup, depopulation, Agenda 21. This devil has all types of agendas. This devil, he, he seriously has a perpetual hatred for us. And that word perpetual means forever, everlasting, continual, never ending. He wants to wipe out every single one of us, but he can't. He's going to wipe two thirds out and some of the elect will be martyrs. But then the elect are going to come right back and be the first risen and then be the first to get their hands on these devils. Yeah, so no matter what Esau does, he's fucked. So this devil's done. Yep. So King David, he knows that Esau Edom is the violent man, the wicked, the devil. And that's why King David also said this, because not only did he pray to be preserved from Esau Edom, the wicked, these devils, he also said this in Psalm chapter 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yes, yeah, so Esau is the sword of Yahweh by Shem Yashah on the left hand side. Yeah, and two-thirds are going to get killed by Esau. And these FEMA camps and martial law, race wars, the pestilences, Esau's advanced weaponry, the nuclear missiles. Yeah, two-thirds are going to be caught all up in that, but the elect are going to be preserved from it. And we pray to be part of that number. For real. Yep, so these devils are about to unleash a type of wrath that we've never seen before. Esau's going to lose it. And that was it right there in Psalm chapter 17. Yeah, but Esau, he, he practices wickedness every day. These devils don't go a day without practicing wickedness. Whether it's raping little kids, molesting kids, filming child pornography, drinking blood, eating pineal glands, eating umbilical cords of babies, raping animals, doing sacrifices, eating shit. These devils practice wickedness every single damn day. They don't go, they don't take no breaks. They're always, I'm trying to create some new disease up in the lab. Esau, he's always practicing evil. That's his job. And he, 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 he loves his fucking job. Esau loves being the devil. Esau loves being the wicked. And we got to love being righteous. And this is Proverbs chapter 4. And I'll go to 
verse 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Yes, yeah, so it says that Esau can't even get sleep unless he's being wicked. If Esau ain't pleasing his father Satan, they can't rest. They have a thirst and an insatiable desire to be wicked and to be evil because they're the devil. For real. And now let's go to Job chapter 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands could not perform their enterprise. Yes, so what is Esau devising against us, demonizing us, depicting us as criminals in front of the entire earth, rounding us up, using that deep fake technology to make it look like we said and did things that we didn't really say or do? Depicting us as the terrorist when he's the real terrorist. Yes, so everything that Esau is doing to us and will do to us is going to flip around and it's going to cause him to fall in his own trap. Yes, so Esau can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. Even though it's going to get ugly to it, it's like, damn, we're not going to know how we're going to get out of some of the situations that we're going to be put into. But actually, we do know. Yahweh Shem Shai. But I'm saying kind of like, like the exact, like the exact um, deliverance method. We don't know exactly how, but we know that we're going to be delivered. Because it says that the elect shall be found blameless. So we, we know that Esau, whatever he says against us, it's all going to be bullshit. All the lies and everything when we're brought before judges, we know it's all bullshit. So guess what? It's only going to be a matter of time before we're delivered out of it and before Esau is destroyed. It says, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. Yes, so it says, Esau meets with darkness in the daytime. Yeah, darkness as in evil and wickedness. The Bilderberg meeting, the Trilateral Commission, the Bohemian Grove, the 1001 Club, Halliburton. What's the other one? The, um, the United Nations, all these different secretive meetings. It's all, how, it's all about how they can destroy us, how they can oppress us, how they can try to round us up and try to exterminate us. These devils, they fucking hate us to death. They know that they're Esau Edom. They know that Yahweh Ba Hashem and Shai hates them. They know that we're the righteous. They know that we're the chosen. And they know that we got the blessing. And they know that we're next to rule. And that when we rule, it's going to be forever and ever. They know that. They know exactly who we are. And they hate us because they lost the blessing. They fucking hate us to death. These devils, they can't wait to get Mashallah on and pop in. Yep, Esau, all, 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 all he meditates upon is evil, evil, evil. And let's get another scripture talking about it. This is Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe unto them that devise iniquity. Yes, so Esau is all about iniquity. That's all he does. Esau, Edomites cannot do righteousness. Neither can these heathen. Yeah, because the really righteousness is the law, statutes, and commandments. And it was only given to Israel. The laws were only given to us, but mainly Esau, he's the devil. There is no righteousness inside of him. And that word woe means destruction. So it says, woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yes, yeah, so Esau, he's always practicing evil. He don't take no breaks. When it comes to spraying chemtrails, diseases, GMO foods, everything he does. Using the media to deceive a lot of people. These devils take no damn breaks. Yep, it said they practice evil because it's in the power of their hand. Yes, yeah, so Esau's gonna keep being evil until Yahweh by Shem Yashah destroys him. Until the nukes come, then Esau's gonna continue being evil. That's why this devil gotta be taken out, and he's gonna be taken out. Esau thinks that he is gonna succeed with his new world order, but it's all gonna fail. He ain't going to succeed with it. And let's get it. This is Job chapter 20. And I'll go to verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, 
Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah, that's talking about Esau thinking that he's really going to succeed with the New World Order. He's going to come close. He's, he's going to wipe out billions of people. And not only is there going to be martial law over in America, martial law is going to be in all continents. So wherever two-thirds are, there's going to be mass death everywhere. And not only mass death of two-thirds, but mass death of all these heathens. Esau's even going to wipe out the majority of his people. That's why Esau has something called the 1%. And the 1% is only for the elites. Esau don't even give a fuck about his own people. So if he don't give a fuck about his own people, he damn sure don't give a fuck about Israel. He, Esau calls his own people useless eaters. Yep, so these, these elites, these so-called elites, they don't give a fuck. They can't wait to get this martial law on and popping. But Yahweh by Hashem is holding them back because it ain't time right now. Yeah, and two-thirds think it's all a joke. Uslaki had a hiccup. Two-thirds think it's all a joke. That martial law is going to come. And that there's going to be a mass roundup and depopulation. And that door is going to be kicked in. And people are going to be snatched up and thrown in concentration camps. Two-thirds think it's a fucking joke. But guess what? When it actually does happen, they're going to feel stupid. And they're going to see just how much Esau is the devil. Even though Esau has already proven enough times that he is the devil. But two-thirds are retarded. And this is 2 Chronicles chapter 36. Verse 15, And the Lord Yahweh of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up at times and sending, because he had compassion on his people. Yes, yeah, so the reason that the prophets are on the scene to begin with is because Yahweh by Hashem Yashah, he's given a grace period for all Israel to repent and to turn back from their sins and to get right. But two-thirds two -thirds don't even want it. Two-thirds don't care about repenting and getting right. So that's why they're going to get fucked up and be destroyed and have all these plagues and the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yashah come upon them. It says, and on his dwelling place, but they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. Yes, yeah, so two-thirds think it's funny now, but when Esau kicks their door in, and and they get their whole entire family raped in front of them while they're tied up in a chair. They're not going to be laughing then. Ain't going to be no more laughing when that time comes. Two-thirds are, are going to be feeling really stupid then. They want to kiss Esau's ass now. But when that time comes, they're going to see just how much of the devil Esau is. Yes, yeah, so two-thirds, they have some really bad times coming. Two-thirds are going to get fucked up. And they deserve it. It's going to happen very soon. Yep, and only the elect would be spared from all this. But two-thirds are going to be overtaken by it. Getting tortured, starving to death, being thrown in FEMA camps, being raped. Two-thirds are going to get it horribly. And this is Psalm chapter 64 and 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, and my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of, my, of the enemy. Yep. So the elect are going to be preserved from all the plagues that are coming. So we don't got to worry about it. The elect men are going to have spiritual power. And we're going to have a defense. We're going to have the angels protecting us. But two-thirds ain't going to have no protection. When all hell breaks loose, two-thirds will have no type of safety. Yeah, so they're going to lose their mind and just, they're, they're going to lose it. They're going to lose their fucking minds. And it says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yeah, so Esau's going to falsely accuse us and all that, but guess what? Yahweh by Hashem is going to deliver us out of it. And even if we got to be martyrs, guess what? That's still deliverance because the elect that are martyrs will be the first risen and the first upon a chariot. The first ones with a crown on their head, the first with a scepter in their hand. And get even more glory. Yep, so it's a perfect balance. It says, Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, yep. 
People saying that we're pedophiles, rapists, terrorists, black identity extremists, domestic terrorists, all this bullshit, black Hebrew Israelites when we're not even fucking black, we're different shades of brown. You have all these bitter words. When Esau knows it's the truth, but Esau will never admit it's the truth because he's the devil. He's going to call it lies. He's going to say that we're crazy and now we're anti-Semitic. How the fuck are we anti-Semitic? And first of all, the word ain't even Semitic, it's Shemitic. How the fuck can we be anti-Shemitic when we ourselves, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we descend from Shem? Now, how come Esau doesn't say anti-Edomite or anti-Esau? Um, anti Why does Esau say anti-Shemite when you have a whole lot of nations that come out of Shem? Um, Elamites, so-called East Indians, they come out of Shem. Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs, they come out of Shem. Ammonites, so-called Japanese, they come out of Shem. Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans come out of Shem. And Esau also comes out of Shem. But how come when Esau uses the term anti-Shemitic, it only applies to him? How come Esau doesn't target himself directly by the saying anti-Edomite, anti-Esau? Because he don't want people knowing that he's Esau because he's the fucking devil. He don't want his true identity being revealed. But when we reveal it and when we claim our real identity back, being Hebrew Israelites, being the true biblical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that makes us terrorists because we claim who we really are. Now, that, that's really fucking hypocritical because you can have some fucking transvestite, some tranny. You can have a man that wants to be addressed as a woman. You got to call him a woman even though he's actually a fucking man. And you'll have a woman that's a woman, but she wants to be addressed as a man. That quote-unquote she wants to be addressed as a quote-unquote he. But yet we want to be addressed as who we really are. And we are Hebrew Israelites, according to the prophecies and the description and what would happen to us and everything else, according to the scriptures. But yet when we claim who we really are, we're terrorists. No, but you know what's really terrorism? A man that wants to be a fucking woman and go into some bathroom, sitting on a toilet, and what you see under the, under the door, all you see is some hairy-ass man legs. That's terrorism. A man that wants to be a woman, that's terrorism. A woman that wants to be a man, that's terrorism. When some six-foot, hairy-ass, big-ass, diesel-ass drag queen wants to read a book to a bunch of little kindergarten students and educate them about homosexuality, that's terrorism. That's fucking terrorism. But us claiming who we really are, they want to call us terrorists though, right? So when you speak the truth, you're considered a terrorist. That's the logic of Esau. And that's why these devils are going to be fucking destroyed soon. And that's why all the lies are falling apart, so that's why we got nothing to fear. Yeah, we're going to be uh, falsely persecuted. We're going to be demonized. There's going to be wanted posters with our, uh, our faces on it. But how about Shemeshah is going to deliver us from all of it? We're all going to go through our darkest hour and go through that ultimate faith test. But we're all going to pass it, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahshai, Ratazah. Yeah, for this man's the fucking devil. Got the nerve to call someone a terrorist when he's the biggest mass murderer in history. For real. I'm, I'm, we're fucking sick of these devils. It says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune on Lane Snares privily. Yeah, Lane Snares. Yeah, using that deep fake technology where they can edit your words and edit your body language to make you say something that you didn't really say. These devils got that technology and they're going to use it on the men of the Lord. Yep, that's, the, that, that's all Esau can do. All Esau can do is lie, lie, lie. Esau, he'll never fight us with the truth. Because he, he's against the truth. The truth burns him. He's going to continue using lies until he's destroyed. That's his weapon. He got the media. He has all this 5G and all these radio towers where everyone's minds are fucked up. So Esau, he's injecting demons into people and throwing out everyone's frequencies. And making them more and more docile. So when Esau brings out these big ass lies... Everyone's going to believe them easily without even questioning it. And that's why all the people that do believe Esau's lies, they're going to die right along with him. For real, we're, we're tired of this bullshit. Everyone kissing Esau's ass and believing his dumbass lies. But that's why people are going to find out the hard way. And these same people that want to kiss his ass, 
they, they're also going to have Esau to turn on them. But they think by kissing Esau's ass, that's going to spare them. Esau ain't going to give a fuck. And Yahweh by Shem and Shah is going to put the spirit in Esau to not even spare them, but to fuck them up even worse than what we get because they wanted to not repent and they don't want to separate from the ways of America. So they're going to have the same judgment and destruction as America and these devils and heathens. For real. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Yeah, Esau thinks that no one sees him, but Yahweh by Shem Yashai sees him and the angels see him. And we're exposing these devils with all these videos. And Esau can't hide no more. His time is up. Esau can't do nothing to hide. There's, there is no hiding for these devils. They were already hiding for hundreds of years when no one really knew the truth. But now that the truth is out, Esau can't hide. Yep, there is no hiding for these devils. Yep, Esau's right in the spotlight. Esau's right in the hot seat where he belongs. Yep, the, these devils are about to bring mass death on the earth. With this new world order depopulation, Rex 84, Agenda 21, they're about to bring it like the Georgia Guidestones, maintain the population under 500 million. Yeah, these devils are going to bring mass death. And it says it right here in Jeremiah chapter 25 and 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Yeah, so there's going to be a mass death in all seven continents. Every city, every state, every island, every country, every province, everywhere. Mass death is going to be everywhere. Yeah, these devils, they really want to rule forever. They think they are too, but they're not. They're about to be taken out of power and never rise up ever again and never have the blessing of the sword ever again either. Yeah, and two-thirds are going to be wiped out by this devil. Yep, Yahweh by Hashem is going to sick Esau in two-thirds. And this is Zechariah chapter 13 and 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in the land, Slack it, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah, so two-thirds are going to die. All Israel is not going to make it in the kingdom on this side. Only the one-third of Israel. The 144,000 men and the one-third women and children. That is it. Yep, these devils ain't going to care about no one. These devils are going to be like Terminators. Heartless, no compassion, no love. They're not going to give a fuck about no one. Men, women, children, elderly, handicapped, blind. They don't, they don't, give, a, they don't give a fuck. 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh. Baha Shem Shal Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so these devils are going to kill everyone. The, the, and even these stupid ass dudes that want to be agents, they're going to get killed too. They think that by kissing Esau's ass and getting info on men of the Lord, they think that's going to get them spared for Esau, from Esau's wrath, and they're still going to get killed by Esau. They think that by watering down the doctrine, they think that makes Esau love them. By trying to say how Esau ain't the so-called white man. By saying that Esau can make it. Guess what? Esau's still going to kill them. They're still going to get fucked up. Esau's still going to rape them and kill them. Esau is still going to throw them in FEMA camps. Yep, so they're not going to be spared either. And they're going to get it even worse. They're going to get the full wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai. For these people are done with. These people are finished. And I pray that all this was edifying. I pray that all this was faith boosting and spiritually uplifting. But yeah, this is all going to go down very soon. Mashallah is going to be declared soon. They're going to make the RFID mandatory. We're going to be living off grid. Pilgriming. Y'all by Hashem and Shai got our back. We're going to have food. We're going to have water. We're going to have shelter. More deliverances and amazing miracles are going to be done for us. And we just got to stay strong because it's about to get really, really crazy. 
And we need Yahweh by Hashem Yashai now more than ever. For real, because we don't want the judgment of two thirds. We want to be spared from that. Because mass judgment's on the way. And this devil's going to make a move very shortly. So I pray that all this was edifying. And I pray that y'all like this video. And with that, shalom and peace.